Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your next 72 hour energy reading. Uh, thank you for being here with me. Do like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you God for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message. All right, from you. All right, so let's see what the situation is, Gemini. All right. What's the situation for Gemini? What's the situation for Gemini? All right, you could be in a relationship. Somebody feels like the other person is sneaking around or doing something sneaky. Um, you feel like the, it's almost a false relationship too. It's, it's fake or it's got some element of being fake. Like you guys may be girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever, but at the same time, it's like this person does something when you're not around or they, they, they're trying to get away with something when you're not around or vice versa. This is how they feel about you. Yeah, you just feel as if they're too prideful. They're so prideful that they they have other people. It could be your husband, or it could be somebody um, older than you who has a lot of money or prestige or opportunity. Let's see. What's the situation for Gemini? What's the situation for Gemini? All right. What's the situation for Gemini? The Page of Cups. Okay, so um, there's a need for emotional uh, maturity. There's also some announcement being made here. Fun, flirty announcement, maybe um, even of engagement or coming together. Uh, there's a need for somebody to be more romantic. If you're in a relationship, you need to be more romantic. If you're dating someone, you feel like they would, they need to be more romantic. There also needs to be emotional maturity had here. If somebody is just super immature when it comes to their emotions um in expressing them or not expressing them you could be falling in love or you have met someone new let's see what's the advice for gemini advice for gemini okay the advice the six of swords okay so um you need to get over some past hurt in previous relationships, okay? Uh, you need to either move on with your person or move on from them. Uh, it just makes sense to do so. Some of you are trying to move on in secrecy, like at night. You're trying to move on from somebody, like actually move out or, or you're making moves at night or someone is doing this with the Six of Swords here. Um, they'll be back though. It's like a temporary separation for them to go and do whatever it is they want to do. Let's see. What's the outcome here? What's the outcome for Jim? Okay. Uh, the Taurus card. The Hierophant. The outcome is you guys are spiritually connected, but it might be some... Uh, cycle that you guys need to come out of because something is at the status quo this is what you've always done this is what you always do this is what this person always has done they're not going to change you married into this or you signed up for it or you you're allowing it if somebody's allowing it to happen with you um you need to ask questions you need to get curious about what's going on here refrain from petty arguments and being petty but at the same time, you need to ask the necessary questions in terms of moving forward. It seems as if this relationship has taken a toll of it's more mental, more, you know, mental agility. Who can say what? How? How can I put this to this person? Um, you need to in interject some more love into this connection because it's, it's more so about spying and, o and o not overlooking anything and just being super curious and maybe even nosy. All right, that's what I got for you, Gemini. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. Thank you, Gemini. Many blessings to you.